Hey everybody, this is Pete Meyer, technical editor from Motor Age Magazine, and you know, it wasn't all that long ago that Apex 2012 kind of wrapped up. While I was cruising the floor there at the show, one thing I noticed that there was a lot of scan tool introductions being made, one of them by Delphi, which was kind of surprising. Never thought much of Delphi as a scan tool company, but to explain that, we got Delphi's Chris Ballman with us by phone. Uh, he's going to tell us about the, the scan tool and the diagnostic program. He is, and, and Craig, if I get this wrong, Chris, you are the director of Service Operations Group for Delphi. Uh, that covers quite a bit. Chris, tell us a little bit about what that involves. Well, here in the uh, aftermarket at Delphi, we have a pretty comprehensive service program. Uh, I have a staff of technical trainers. And I'm sure a lot of your audience have actually probably taken some classes from our technical trainers who travel across North America. In addition to the training group, uh, I also am responsible for development of our service information product called RepairPoint. Uh, that's something that your folks might have seen, especially if they work at Uniselect and some other customers. Also, we have a small tech support group. And as you said, we now have a diagnostics tool, and that rounds out our service portfolio. And uh, we've just launched this new uh, PC-based diagnostics and flash programming tools at Apex. Wow, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. It was very interesting. A lot of companies going to uh, PC-based uh, tooling, uh, a lot of built a lot of help in these tools. So uh, I'm just going to kind of cut you loose, Chris. You know, go ahead and tell us, uh, tell us about this, uh, this exciting new addition to the Delphi line. Sure, uh, and you can turn the slide if you want, uh, turn to the next slide. There we go. As you said, uh, we are moving into a PC-based platform primarily based on all of the uh, market research that we've done over the past couple of years. Uh, it's a much more robust and fast platform. The objective of what we're doing is to make sure that the technician has everything they need to get the vehicle diagnosed and pointed in the right direction for the repair as quickly as possible. Uh, to that end, we've partnered with uh, Blue Streak Electronics. Between their expertise in flash programming and diagnostics and, and our expertise on the OE side of the business, as well as some of our own uh, intellectual property, uh, we've come up with what we believe is a professional grade, very robust product. Uh, it consists of a VCI that you've got there, vehicle communications interface, and this tool will do uh, flash programming and diagnostics in, in one single box. Uh, it is partnered up with a tablet PC, and if you go to the next slide, we'll show we'll show that to the audience. Yeah. Um, before we do that, Chris, let me ask you a question. You said this is is uh, able to do not only acts as the communications interface for the scan tool. But it's also capable to uh, be used as a pass-through device for programming, right? Yes. Now, yes, is, sir. now is that what what current standards is this uh, is this in tune with? I mean, I know there's there's a few, right? Yeah, it's J twenty five thirty four. That's the uh, primary standard. Uh, it'll also speak with uh, vehicles over some of the other more well known protocols, but it performs the programming uh, through the J twenty five thirty four standard. Okay. Okay. Now, here you can see the uh, duo together of our tablet PC. Our high-end kit includes this uh, Windows 7 based tablet PC, which comes preloaded with all of the Delphi scan software. In addition, the technician or the shop is getting a fully fledged uh, additional PC notebook to work with. But if the technician or the shop already has a uh, Windows-based either XP Service Pack 3 or Windows 7 machine, whether it's a desktop, laptop, or notebook, the VCI will talk directly to that. The VCI also has wireless communication to that device, to that uh, notebook or tablet PC, which enables the technician to wander around the vehicle and, and not have to be tethered while they're doing the diagnostics work. And it's not Bluetooth, it's the 802 standard Wi-Fi. Uh, and if there is no Wi-Fi in the shop, uh, the technician can actually buy a basic VCI without Wi-Fi capability, so that puts them in business. And I probably should have mentioned that uh, this uh, device 
covers OBD2 based vehicles in North America. Uh, we don't go back before 1996. We don't do any of the legacy. We're focused on really just all the OBD2 sure. vehicles in North America. Sure. And then what uh, what current manufacturers does the does the tool support right now? Uh, right now we have full coverage for the Detroit 3, Ford Chrysler, GM, for all of the major Asian manufacturers except for Isuzu and Suzuki. Uh, Subaru is going to be released in 2013, probably Q2 or Q3, and we're all also going to be releasing our first European uh, coverage in 2013 for Volkswagen Audi. Uh, what we do with this uh, tool is we, we don't do reverse engineering, so to speak. Uh, because of our OE connections, we uh, purchase and work directly with the OEs to acquire all of their databases and information and that's what we load onto the tool. So this has very, very deep coverage in the vehicles you know, that we have on the tool, uh, a huge amount of bi-directional controls, as well as uh, a lot of special system tests depending on the OE. In fact, we've had some feedback from some of our trainers uh, who have been in the field with it here since June that on Ford in particular, especially the CAN Ford vehicles, that it actually works faster than the uh, than the Ford OE tool. Now, just uh, kind so of a, just kind of a side note there, Chris, on the coverage. Um, you see, it's a lot of deep coverage, and you know, one of the common questions we get all the time: What's the best scan tool? What did, what will it do? What will it cover? So right now, we're looking at domestic and Asian coverage. Um, let's just take that Ford for example. Compared to the Ford IDS, I mean, is this the equivalent to, or is it like a lot of aftermarket tools, pretty darn close, or, or just right up there with it, or how would you describe that? We're putting it up there, uh, we're putting it right up there with the Ford IDS, certainly in terms of uh, the coverage of the systems, modules, actuators, and especially in speed. There may be a couple of particular tests or a couple of particular components that it doesn't cover. Uh, we do have a full-fledged website coming, I believe, in January, just after the launch of the tool, where any of the users will be able to access files with very in-depth coverage lists, module actuator lists, component lists. So it, it won't be a very broad uh, listing, leaving the technician to guess. We'll actually have all of that information on the website so that if it'll work on a particular component on a particular vehicle, the technician will be able to see that. But in terms of the IDS, to answer your question as a specific, our trainers and our feedback in the field, they put it right up there with that OE tool. Cool. And I guess too that, that because it's tablet based and has the VCI, you know, pass the, the pass through device, you know, those OEMs that are using a similar format to deliver their OE tooling, if if a, if a guy really needed that uh, that extra punch, it wouldn't be too hard to, to use this platform to help get them there, would it? No, it shouldn't be hard at all, and, and, and that's a lot of the feedback we had. We, we did some research that showed that uh, the PC-based portion of the market is expected to double over the next three to four years. It could, could get even bigger than that, but to be able to push all of these updates through whether it's minor updates to the existing version of software that the technician has on the tool or the major updates that we do about once every year. Uh, those updates will come through very quickly. Uh, they'll be pushed automatically as long as the technician has the VCI connected to the internet. It's a pretty robust process. And if the technician needs any help with that or has any questions, we've got you know our tech support team here. We've got folks on the phone. Uh, who are experienced users and ASE certified techs themselves who can get into it with the technician and help sure. answer their question. And I know you mentioned early on in the slide that uh, you know this was one one bundle that included the tablet. So is there an option? Like you, if someone just has a PC they want to use, they can get just the software, right? Uh, yes, that kit will come with a software CD. And then once that CD of software is loaded, uh, it includes the software that gets loaded onto the, their tablet or PC and also any of the latest updates to the firmware on the VCI. Okay. It's a very simple process of downloading the software and it's all done 
just like you would do with a Mac or a PC at home through software keys and product keys and you register the tool uh, with us through the serial number and then it matches the product key as well the software that you get that the technician gets that can be loaded on up to five devices in the shop uh, mm -hmm. so if there's more than a couple of tablets or notebooks available in the shop that software key can work on multiple interfaces multiple machines oh and, and one last question and i'll let you move on you know i know that, that, that some guys have told me that depending on the tooling and the software um, having more than one scan tool uh, program on a particular pc may or may not cause some issues are you aware of anything like that uh, in, whether it be for the new Delphi tool or for existing platforms? I think what we need to be careful with is to make sure that whatever machine it's running on, it has the latest version of either that XP Service Pack 3 or is a Windows 7 32 or 64 bit machine. And that, I mean, obviously, like any other uh, software, that there isn't a lot of other additional software running in the background or that anything that the technician has loaded in addition to this software for our tool isn't slowing it down. So just like anything sure. else, if you're going to be doing the diagnostics, uh, close down everything else, except of course maybe the connection to the internet for our service information product or whatever service information product the tech is using, and just keep it basic so that it can work as quickly as possible. Yeah, and that you just that's just brought up a great point because this is a Windows seven based uh, tablet you know that has the, the internet browser capability and, and access to your service information system right there at your hand um, any any support networks you have like IATN or Identifix you know you can access right there in, in one place so that that's a pretty big plus huh that's right yeah so the technician theoretically as long as they've got a good internet connection don't have to leave the vehicle don't have to leave the fender and the nice thing about this machine is, for example, if you have to take a break and take a look at some wiring diagrams or some other documentation to help with the diagnostic, sure. uh, if the machine goes to sleep, you know, the notebook or tablet goes to sleep, all you have to do again is just tap it with the stylus or hit the space bar and uh, it should open right back up to the last module or screen that you were into that vehicle as long as you're still connected to the car. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'll let you move on. Let's go on. We'll go on to the next slide for you there. Sure. Uh, in addition to you know the, the basic tools, what the technician also gets is uh, we put a new carrying case around this. It's a blow molded case uh, with a nice die cut foam and the convoluted foam. It's a fairly rugged piece, so the technician can take it wherever he needs to take it. Included with this kit are all of the cables necessary. There's a shorter OBD2 cable and a longer cable, and of course those two can be put together if, if the additional length is necessary. If there's a weak Wi-Fi or no Wi-Fi connection, there's a USB cable. I think it's actually a six-foot cable uh, to go between the VCI and any of the tablets or notebooks that they're bringing, ours included. Plus, for the earlier OBD2 vehicles, uh, we've got uh, some Asian vehicle connectors, adapters, as well as a Ford DCL adapter, and a cigarette lighter power adapter. And, of course, we've got power supplies for the VCI and the tablet. The nice thing about the power supply for the VCI is that the technician can essentially leave everything at home if they want, or... Uh, leave everything in the shop and then take the VCI home, plug into the wall, plug into their internet connection at home and download the latest updates. So there's a lot of portability with the product that wherever you've got an internet connection and a, and a wall socket, uh, you can go ahead and grab the latest updates uh, and download those. Awesome. So you can move to the next slide if you want. Uh, a lot of uh, words here, but um, basically this has to do with uh, our positioning of the product overall. Uh, we wanted to get into the middle end of the market with this one, and uh, basically, again, we're aiming at the 
technician who's working on the vehicles all day long. Uh, it's, it's not a basic boat reader, but we think that we've priced it in a way that it's going to be very accessible for pretty much all of the technicians that are out there. Um, and where's this going to be available? How's this going to be distributed? What's the... It's going to be available through our standard distribution network. So we've got a lot of big customers out there like Advance, O'Reilly's, um, Uniselect, uh, Fisher Auto Parts, Parts Authority. Uh, we are a big player in parts distribution, obviously, but we're also working with a number of the tool and equipment distributors. Uh, might see some of the larger uh, warehouses out there and uh, might even be able to get in on a truck won't, won't tell you which one, but <laughs> our goal is our goal is to be everywhere we can possibly be with sure. it. Uh, we're already getting quite a bit of inquiries through our regular uh, distribution network on on the part side of the business because I think they're already familiar with the technician training, so it's just kind of a natural fit. Sure. So I mean, is this available now? I mean, if I go down to my local advanced auto parts, can I order it there today? Or? It's available January first. We okay. are going to be making it available for our customers to pre-order actually next week uh -huh. and our sales organization our trainers are all going to be receiving some in-depth training actually over the next couple of weeks at the same time so customers will be able to order this from their uh, parts store at the beginning of the year okay. yeah and I think that the, 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 the major point with a lot of uh, what you just discussed is that OE level capability, I, I know that uh, we're, we're not going to say that it is the OEM tool, but when you look at the amount of data and the amount of features that we've embedded into the tool, I think that we're, we're pretty much there. Uh, there might be some things that the OE might not always let you into, and that's always the classic battle between a, an aftermarket and an OE scan tool. But I think that you've probably seen in your work a lot of convergence. I and mean, when you look at these things like the uh, the relearns, the the Toyota utilities, uh, the Chrysler special tests, uh, the Ford can bi-directional controls, that's the stuff that gets you to the OE level. But then when we look back at uh, those Mode Six descriptions, we try and translate those detailed, you know, tids and, and mids so that. The technician is a struggling with what is 42, what is 28, and then in those screenshots that you'll highlight when the technician is using the tool, anything that they click on, they can pretty much always get more information without leaving the procedure they're on and without leaving the vehicle they're on. So there's, there's easy ways to get more information with whatever they're working on at the moment, whether it's the health check or a special test. Sure. And, and I know that the, one of the things that, that I thought was pretty interesting, I'm sure that the scan tool introduction was big news at Apex, but there was a broader package um, that Delphi was, was just, this, this was just an element in. And I think that's what we're looking at here on the screen now, that you, you guys call it Auto IQ, uh, a total service solutions program. Could you run us through some of the elements of, of, of that total program? Sure, that's, that's our brand new, um, I guess, slogan for our overall service solution. Uh, we came up with a, a product about five, six years ago. These were a series of really small videos, about 80 or 90 videos designed to help the parts professional and the service advisor explain what was going on with a, via, with a customer's vehicle. Basically, it tells the customer what's a MAF sensor, what does it do, why did I have to have my O2 sensor replaced, right. why is the diagnostic procedure taking a half an hour to perform, and we embedded that in our service information product, which we sold to some customers, and then it just grew, and we decided, well, we've added technical training for technicians, we are getting into telematics, which uh, we can talk about at length if you like. Uh, and then our tech support, and when the group looked at everything that we have, why don't we just call all of it Auto IQ? And this is the intelligence behind repairing cars. As far as we know, we are the only um, major parts company 
uh, automotive tier one supplier in the world to really take all of these elements and put them in one package. And uh, there's there's one competitor in particular, uh, they're uh, German, you might know who they are. They're probably the only other guys out there that might have some of these elements, but they don't offer service information, they don't have a telematics product, and when you look at the convergence of what's happening, we need to be as in touch as we can with the technicians and the vehicle owners. Telematics helps us doing that by giving information to the customer and the technician at the same time. We're putting all the information necessary at the technician's fingertips to get the vehicle fixed. And now with the tool, we've got the complete package. So now that we had the complete package at Apex, we had to put a name around it, and, and that's what we've done. And I think you'll see a lot more information about this in the beginning of the year. Uh, Pam and the brand team are going to be launching uh, a pretty major campaign to get the word out to technicians, but also vehicle owners. Uh, you want your car fixed, bring it to Delphi. I tell the technician, you need everything to get the car fixed for the customer, bring it to Delphi. So that, that's probably uh, the best job I can do at positioning the line. Yeah, and I guess we should, you know, and if you don't know guys, of course Delphi is a major OE supplier, um, as well as a huge aftermarket supplier. So you have probably installed their parts more than once, and uh, I've, I sure have installed plenty of Delphi parts. And I didn't realize there was such an extent, Chris, to be quite honest with you. I really like the concept that, that we're going to train the technicians on, on how to fix it. We're providing the tools they need to fix it. We're providing the information that they need to access. And if they really run into a snag, they can always access tech support. So uh, how does, how does uh, the techs and the shop owners out in the field, is there somewhere they can go, a website address or something you can give us? Uh, that they can go for more information or to find out more about any or all of the auto IQ program? Uh, Delphi.com forward slash AM for aftermarket. Uh, in addition to that, all of the technicians, when they get uh, any of the parts in their shop and all of our service products, including our training manuals, and also right on the back of the BCI for the new scan tool and, and flash tools, we have our tech support phone number as well. So if they don't have access to the web, that phone number is there. And we have a full staff of uh, ASC guys. Uh, they're here from 8 to 5.30 Eastern, five days a week. And if they're not available by phone, we have an email response system as well. And there, there's an email address there on the website. Uh, we support the technicians directly. Um, I think we're up to about 12,000 calls a year, wow. and uh, you're talking with folks who will spend as much time as they need to spend with you to get that fuel pump checked out, to get the AC compressor installed right, and at the launch of the scan tool to help you set it up, and for the life of the scan tool, as long as the technician has that tool, that tech support is available and it's free. Wow. Wow, that's, that's, we're, we're not we're not going to charge by the minute or anything like that. I mean, everything from, hey, I'm missing a cable, or can you send me a new cable, all the way up through, can you help me out with I've run into this communication issue with this vehicle. Uh, the tech the the tech support guys will spend as much time as necessary. Uh, supplementing that, the tool itself, just back on that for a minute. Uh, the tool has a feedback system built into it. Uh, there's a feedback tab that the tech can click on and a keyboard can pop up and can actually fill in the information. I'm working on a, I'm working on a 2002 Taurus and it's having some communications issues. What should I do? That information will go directly to our software developers up in the cloud the tech will get uh, acknowledgement that the message has been received and usually within one to two days an answer will come back and that's part of what we use to debug the software so to speak because sure. uh, OE level can be really good, OE level can also have its own bugs, they're not perfect either and I sure. think everyone wants that. But uh, the tech support guys are live there five days a week and that, that's what they're there for. That, that's all they do is support the tech and the customer. Yeah, so I mean that's a great point then to, to, to reiterate. 
you know, guys, so on the tool, there's a feedback tab that you can access. Uh, if you run into an issue right while you're working on the car, you can take a minute. You, know, you don't have to tell yourself, I'll, I'll get on the email and, and uh, follow this up later. You can do it right there on the spot and, and send that information in. So that's a great feature. Well, Chris, I really appreciate you taking the time to share all this information with us. Uh, it looks like a very exciting program. I'm looking forward to seeing more uh, after the first of the year. Uh, again, thanks so much you know, for taking the time to hang out with us this morning. Oh, you're welcome, and uh, looking forward to doing it again. Uh, anything that we can do to help you out. And um, uh, also, another resource for the techs out there is uh, we're, we jumped on the social media bandwagon, so like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, um, and uh, it's at Delphi Auto Parts is our tweet Twitter address. <laughs> Uh, and, and thanks again, Pete. Really appreciate it. No, thanks again. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the, this episode. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget, www.delphi.com forward slash AM. Keep your eyes open for the new Delphi Scan Tool platform at AutoIQ, January 1, 2013.